This video is looking at upgrading Nessus from a previous version to the latest version, which is 5. This came out uh, roughly a week, week and a half ago, and is available at Tenable.com. So today we're downloading from www.tenable.com products Nessus select your operating system. You can Google to find this page, or you can follow the URL in this video. In this case, we're installing on Backtrack 5 R2 system. And a version that works well with this system is the file that's meant for Ubuntu 10.10 32-bit. Other files are likely to work as well, but this one is known to work very well with this particular installation of Backtrack. So click on the link to download a file and save it to a directory. In this case, we're going to save it to the root directory, uh, which is basically the home directory of the root user on Backtrack. This is the user that you log into with root and tor when you log into Backtrack. We already saved the file earlier to save some time. So if we go to the root home directory, you can get to it just by typing cd and then doing an ls. We can see that the installation package has been downloaded as a .deb file. In order to install, we're going to do dpackage, which is dpkg-i for install, and then the path to the nessus.deb file. When this installation starts, it's going to take a while because the first thing it's going to do is try to go download updates and new plugins for Nessus, and then it's going to process these plugins. There will be a meter that will run that will show the progress, but it's not untypical at all for this to take 20, 30, even more number of minutes in order for all the plugins to be downloaded and processed. I'm going to get rid of the annoying Avast pop up. Then, once the downloads are done processing, Nessus will be installed, but it's not going to start automatically. You have to actually start the Nessus server. So, in order to do this, after it's all installed, type in etsy init.d nessus d. Notice that it's nessus and then d on the end, not just nessus. This is the nessus daemon or the server that runs. And then the word start. Once you start the server, it's going to be running on port 8834. In order to use nessus, Go to the Firefox after it's started, open up a new tab, and then go to HTTPS. Notice that it's HTTPS, not HTTP. Localhost, and then port 8834 as discussed. And this is going to open up the Nessus login page. Notice that the very first time you do this, Nessus is going to upgrade your database from version 4 to version 5. It's going to move some uh, information around and make sure that all the new uh, database settings are correct. It's probably going to update primary keys, probably going to update indexes. So this could take a minute the first time you open it. When I had originally set up Nessus 4, I set it up with a username of root password tor so that it matched the Backtrack 5 login. This is not a bad idea if you're using Backtrack to keep everything synchronized, but Remember that you got to keep your backtrack isolated because everyone knows the password and username to backtrack, and they would similarly be able to get into your Nessus as well. So, we're going to log in. There's going to be a splash screen that starts every time if you have the home feed, and then it'll take you in to where you can run a new scan. So basically what we've reviewed is how to upgrade Nessus from version 4 to version 5. And the keys where people seem to get stuck is not so much in the installation, but when starting the server, remember that it's Etsy init, Nessus D, start. And then when browsing to the web page, remember that you do need to have the HTTPS. Also note that it's likely on your browser that the first time that you browse to HTTPS localhost 8834, it's going to throw a warning because it's going to say that the SSL certificate is incorrect, and this is normal.